Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of The Bodacious Rant with Burn and Rye. Halloween edition. You know, it's not Halloween yet, but we are talking about a Halloween movie. You know, the with Halloween ends, you know, finally hitting theaters and Peacock. You know, so, you know, whichever one you want to check that out and, you know, you have your options. You know, we're just letting you know right off the beginning. But, you know, before we get into it, you know, be sure to give us a like, you know, subscribe and uh, ring the bell. So, of course, you get alerted to any of the time we drop our reviews you know when you want to hear our awesome voices you know we like to hear ourselves talk so uh, we hope you guys do too I don't, uh, I don't i don't know if you guys do but i'm just gonna go ahead and say yeah uh, yeah it is you do <laughs> i like to hear myself talk in real life on video and audio it's 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 a totally different story that's all i gotta say <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, everybody, you know, we're talking about Halloween ends here. This is the uh, the third in, uh, you know, David Gordon Green's directing movies, technically the fourth in this uh, rebooted series of uh, Halloween movies uh, with, you know, starting with the original 1978 Halloween, you know, 2018's Halloween, you know, same name, but, you know, this is a sequel. Uh, and then, you know, last it was last year's um, Halloween Kills and then now Halloween ends. So. Yeah, this is uh, this is, you know, being pitched as the finale to this you know new rebooted uh, uh, series of movies. So I just wanted to see uh, what you thought, right? You know, you you okay? Just for you know purposes, you saw it in theaters. I saw it on Peacock. So you know, I'm I'm I just wanted you to give your uh, your theater experience first because uh, you did have a lot to say <laughs> about it. <laughs> Do you want the God honest truth, Burn? Like, I'm talking to you directly, Burn. Do you want the truth? Because I'm going to tell Give everybody Give it to right me now. straight. Okay, it was God awful. Mostly just because... I'm sorry, man. I hate this. The movie theaters right now, with just like fucking little kids running around, or like during... At least during the horror movies, because it happened in During Smile, and yes. now this one. They're just running around being dipshits, man. Uh, I mean, given somebody's like, you sound like an old man. I'm like, maybe I do. <laughs> you know? My birthday's coming up soon. I'm getting old. But I'm just saying, it's one of my salvations. I like to sit in silence. Besides that, though, uh, the, you know, it, they started off so promising with the sequel slash reboot. You know, the screequel slash, you know, um, you know, re- the reboot re- cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, scre- screen boot. And that was great. It was very simple, very straight to the point with some philosophy behind it. The last one just went way into the whole philosophical idea of evil and what it does to people, all this bullshit. And then this one, it, it is a bit of an improvement over the last one. Not by much, though, mind you. But because there were some cool moments in this one where the last one, I was like, this is just straight up stupid. I am not a fan of this right now. Um, but this one, it was okay. It, I just, nothing great. You know, I, I really... I was thinking as I got to my car, would I rather watch this over Morbius? Absolutely, but they're not. <laughs> but they're, they're. This is a contender for one of the worst movies I've seen this year. So I was not a fan of it. But what did you think, Burn? Damn. I mean, I, I will have to say that I do uh, mirror your sentiment on this being an improvement on the last one. I mean, the last one, Halloween Kills, I felt like was just. Uh, you know, it felt like a, a, a sequel for just sequel's sake. You know, like nothing was really done or or really progressed in, in that movie it's just everybody's just losing their minds and it was just sort of like a weird like middle chapter in in like an, an artificially elongated trilogy you know like where we when, once we ended that one i was like it feels like we didn't really accomplish anything but like you said they, they did touch on some really interesting themes in my opinion you know with you know how you know the, the presence of michael myers like what it has done to not only just you know laurie strode uh, but at, you know to the town of Haddonfield as a whole so that that at least like had some interesting concepts I felt they didn't really um it didn't really like execute it well in, in the last movie with here we get something a, a little bit different I will say you know to when you know, without any spoilers that uh, this movie goes in a direction that I was not expecting you know like the, I don't think in, even from the trailers that you can sort of gauge like what the sort of central plot is uh, of this movie but i will say that you know thematically it it was also you know very interesting um to say the least i think it it did have something that they they were trying to do they were trying to do something different with this movie and and i do have to tip my hat off to them for attempting you know to do something there 
uh, the execution though again is is still lacking just like the the last one i feel like there was some great concepts in there um it just feels like they they really didn't like they weren't able to nail it you know like with with what they were attempting to say about you know the theme of, of this movie which yeah again i can't get into because of spoilers but i do think the movie starts off really strong and i think the movie ends really strong as well too so yeah, I, I think I may have enjoyed it more than you did, but again, I'm not going to say that it was um, it was like anything great. I just don't think it's like one of the worst movies this year. And and that's I'm glad you feel that way, Burn. I just I'm sorry. I just I, I, I it's one of those movies. And uh, given I think maybe I've just been putting a lot of hope into the horror section, maybe the last couple of uh, viewings and stuff for the last few horror movies I've really wanted to. This mm-hmm. one I kind of just had no real expectations to be honest. I was like I just. I was hopeful it would be better. And again, there were some solid moments, like some interesting character moments, good kills, sort of. You know, especially, basically the last half was pretty solid. It was Mm -hmm. just, the beginning wasn't bad, but I felt like this should have been basically the sequel instead of the last one. That's how, I think that's why I was like, you know what, this is, this basically fit way better to the last one than this one did. 100%. Um... You know, again, and the, again, the acting, uh, it was solid. It's just the direction that it was taken with these ca- some of these characters was just like, what the fuck? Like, completely just left field. But in the end, the whole the whole philosophy behind this movie, like the metaphor is that what evil and has what evil can drive people to do, like whether it, it kind of goes back to what Laurie, ha- what happened with Laurie and Michael. You know, what what does that, all that trauma and insanity drive someone to be? Do they be a victim? Do they be a killer, essentially? So that's kind of what this does. It kind mm-hmm. of brings that idea to a close somewhat. Um, other than that, my ranting, uh, was there anything else you wanted to say or can I give my ranting burn? I'm sorry. I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead and give your ranting and I'll, I'll get my final thoughts after after you. I'm going to give it a two out of five just because there were some, again, there were some cool kills, uh, great, good additions to the movie. But overall, it was just, for me, it was just garbage, you know, garbage. So that's, that's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie, uh, she, she's great here. She's been, you know, the consistent um, shining, you know, shining light of, of this, uh, this series. And um, that, that doesn't change here. And I feel like her character, you know, of Laurie, I think they do do it, a, you know, like the character a service, you know, like I do think like the end in like in a satisfying way for her to like, you know, this is it, you know, like if she doesn't come back anymore, like, you know, she can wrap it up here and, and I think be proud of the work that she did. And and overall, I do feel like, yeah, like I think this probably would have been better served if they somehow combined, you know, the last movie Halloween Kills and then this movie, you know, to sort of just find a way to mesh these two together. And, you know, right around that and maybe we'll get a more satisfying trilogy, you know, with the original Halloween, Halloween 2018, and then whatever this, you know, would have been if it, this had just been you know, the two movies just put into one. You know, I feel like the themes were there that they were working with and they really could have combined them to make a, a better, like stronger movie overall. But yeah, there were there were some there were some cool kills. Um, the last half of the movie is definitely stronger than the first half. I think the first half is going to be the point of contention for a lot of people, you know, if they if they end up liking this movie or not, you know, whether they do like the direction that they were going in or they don't like the direction they were going in. So I feel like that's going to be the that's going to be the, the deciding point for for a lot of folks. But, you know, overall, I do think uh, I do think uh, this one was, uh, again, just a little bit lacking in the execution. I really hoped it had ended on, on a stronger note, but it does, in a way, end on a satisfying note. But I will give this one the same score as you, a 2 out of 5. For sure. I, I, I agree with your decision on that one. Um, <laughs> it's funny because we, like, you know, we both have very different, I guess, opinions on it. But overall, it's like it, it lands in the same place, you know. It. I think we're at different points of enjoyment on this one, but thought wise, like rating wise, we're, we're, we're about, we rank it the same. So I, that's fair. Um, yeah, if they broke up the last one and just kind of plugged a couple scenes or shots into the first one and then into this one. Yeah. I think it would have been a lot better, a lot stronger. Cause yeah, the last movie was just a giant filler. Didn't really need to happen. Mm-hmm. It kind of made their point even worse. Um, where this one and the last one, it kind of, it would mean if you just got rid of Halloween kills, it makes a lot more sense to be honest. So, 
Um, yeah. yeah, but um, I, I still that, do that's all. think. Oh, sorry, bro. No, yeah. No, <laughs> I was just gonna say I still do think that if uh, that the best way to probably watch this is just to watch the original 1978 movie and then 2018's uh, uh, sequel reboot. You know, I think that with those two together, those you know, those just fit like they're they they're better. You know overall watch you know like i feel like the ending of the that 2018 movie sort of like puts a nice little bow on it if you wanted to look at it that way instead of you know watching these these next two as as, as satisfied i was with the ending of this one still so. i agree but th- that's all i got burn i mean uh, we covered any other thoughts you have go ahead and get them out there <laughs> Nah, that's it, man. I guess we'll just we'll wrap it up here. So everybody, if you've reached it to this point, you know, let us know what you thought. You know, did you like this movie? Did you not? Were you satisfied with the ending? Or like us, do you think it would have ended a little bit better if they wrapped it up with the 2018 movie? Just let us know in the comments down below. But uh, until next time, we'll, you know, stay bodacious and uh, keep on renting. Now you can say my ending line. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice change, Burn. And, and uh, guys, of course, we'll see you all on the next one.